welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now on our last build, we went video game when we built the Night Elf Glaive from World of Warcraft. Now if you missed that video, we're going to include the link to our channel's homepage in the description below so you can go there and check out Night Elf Glaive or any of the other super cool videos we have there. Um, but now, for this build, we're going to go games. Now, I don't mean video games, this is war games. Alright, so, hmm. without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> Bam! Look at that. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Bolter from Warhammer. <laughs> Check that out. Man, that thing is a chunky monkey right there. Look at that, that's a hunk of foam. Dig that, man, that thing is jamming. This thing is chock full of foam, lots of foam, and chock full of crazy details. Man, look at this thing, it's thick, it's got all kinds of recessed cavities, all kinds of step downs, tons of layers and recesses and cavities and layered up stuff on the top, on the clip, on the grip, on the back. Man, this thing is a ton of work. But it's super fun and it's super easy and it's totally jamming. So, in this episode, Making an EVA Foam Bolter, part one, we're gonna dive into the deep end and we're gonna start going step by step through how to make this Chunky Monkey. Um, and, by the way, we have a template for this bad boy too, so if you want to pick up a template and build along with us, you can. If not, just chill out, enjoy. Um, so that's it. Um, let's jump in. If you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Alright, here we go. These are the pieces that are going to make up the main body of our bolter. So let's take a quick look. We need a super thick piece for the main part of the body, so we're going to come in here with a three quarter and a one inch which is 18 millimeter and 24 millimeter, and we're gonna cement these together for the main body piece. And then we're gonna come in with these pieces that are gonna go on both sides. Here's a 3 eighths of an inch, that's a 10 millimeter, and then we're coming all the way down to an eighth of an inch thick, which is four millimeter for these two side detail pieces. So all these together will make up the main body of our bolter. All right, we'll start by sticking these two pieces of foam together. That was a lot of contact cementing. All right, it's a little bit wet. Now we just give it a few minutes to dry, then once it dries, contact. All right, we've waited a few minutes. It's dry, time to stick it. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. Nice, look at that. Holy smokes, that's a big, giant, honking piece of foam right there. All right, that's gonna be our main body piece. All right, now we're gonna take these two four millimeter side pieces, and what we're doing is we're cutting these little windows out. And this is really easy. We're gonna take our X-Acto knife, we're gonna stand our blade up, straight up, so we can pivot around these curves. There we go. Now we're gonna do this one. All right, there we go, we got both of them cut. All right, now we're coming to our next piece, which is our 3 eighths of an inch, or 10 millimeter pieces. One's gonna go on each side. We're gonna cut these out. We have to cut this little window out on both pieces, and then we have to cut the whole shape out. So, Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna cut the top and the front off. All right, there we go, check that out. Straight on the top, straight on the front. Now we know when we bring in our two sides and we line them up with our guideline and our top, everything's gonna be in exactly the same position on both sides. Perfect. Keep your knife straight up. We're gonna go straight through like that. All right, there we go, that easy. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to contact cement these and attach them. So, 
once again, tons of contact cement. Now, sometimes people like to literally pour it out and then get a big brush and do it. So you can do it whatever way you like. All right, there we go. Give it a few minutes. Stick our corner down. We're going to line it up flush just like that. We're going to just like that. We're going to lay the front down. All right, there we go. Wow, is that nice. Now notice we didn't stretch the foam. You got to be careful when you're using some of the thinner foam because you don't want it to stretch. So you just lay it down and you let it lay down without stretching it. All right. There. Very cool. And we made the same mistake we made on our last build. Darn it. We should have drawn a little Sharpie line here so that we didn't get contact cement there. But most of this will be covered by other little elements, so it's okay. But when we flip it around and we do this side, and we... Now when we contact cement, we won't get in there. Small detail, you probably won't even notice on the other side, but if you can do it, go ahead and do it. All right, there we go. Edge down, we're gonna hold it tight. We're gonna come through with our knife at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna take our time. You never rush. All right, now we're going to come in and we're going to cut these windows out. Now we're not going to use a straight edge because we can probably do a nice job without it. So we're going to like that. It should pop right out. Holy cow, look at that. All right, nice and easy and it's clean. Love. All right, there we got both of them now for both sides. We're going to come in. Actually, we're going to combine our box cutter and our X-Acto blade. For our straight cuts, we're going to come in and we're going to, just like that, we're going to be careful, we're going to travel right down our sharpie line, and just like that, see that? Beautiful, look at that, good grief. All right, now we're going to come in and do the same thing right here. We're going to stand the knife up. All right, there we go, look at that. Beautiful. All right, so see, for a lot of stuff, you don't really need a tool like a bandsaw or a scroll saw, but they're nice to have. All right. All right, there we go. There's both of them. Piece of cake. All right, there we go. Right in here and the back of here. Just make sure you go slightly over the line so you get a complete coverage when you go to stick your piece down. Right up to the line, perfect. All right, perfect. Give it a few minutes before we make contact. All right, time to stick. Now all of our planning is gonna come into play right here. The front and the top cut. We're gonna come in, we're gonna line up our corner. There. Looks like we're right on the money. We met right up with our Sharpie line there. All right, we're gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, now what we've got here is we've got our template and we're going to come in here. We're gonna draw out exactly where we need to cut. All right, there we go. <laughs> Sweet. All right, now we're gonna make our way over to the bandsaw and we're going to knock this out. And wow, look at that, that is thick. That is why sometimes you just can't do it without a bandsaw. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start taking our time, going around our piece. There we go. Holy cow, look at that, man. That's, whoo, that's a thick piece right there. Gee whiz. And you, all right, now we're gonna do one more cut on the bandsaw. And what we're gonna do is this, this line that we drew here and here. We're going to come in on the front end of this and see those two lines we drew right there, right there and right there. We're gonna do a bevel cut all the way down the side on that angle 
and that angle. So we're going to tip the table on the bandsaw and we're going to rip it. All right, there we go. We've got our table super tilted and we're going to follow that line right along through the bandsaw. Came in and did this cool beveled cut on both sides. <laughs> All right, here's our foam E because this is excellent. <laughs> That's pretty stupid. Oh. Bam. All right, now this is going to come into the back end of our weapon and it's going to attach down and it's going to wrap right around there and it's going to make a really nice recess detail. So, all right, there we go, just like that, We're using the edge of our brush. All right, give it a couple minutes. We don't want anything to touch, so we're going to hold these up. We're going to line this up right up at the front edge like that. Hold this middle one up, and we're going to stick this down right on the edge like that. Okay, now we know we've got our two end pieces down. Now we're going to come in and we're going to stick this right in the middle, just like that. Okay, there we go. See that? Just got to be a little careful. Like we've talked about before, you got to channel your inner Peter Parker. Get your fingers nimble. There we go. Look at that. All right, those are anchored down. Now, and okay, there we go. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? Good grief. We forgot to get contact cement in there. I was wondering. All right, now we're going to lay this down right in place. Wow, look at that. All right, there we go. Check out that cool back detail. We've got the little recessed grooves right there. Very nice, very nice. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're gonna come in with our Dremel, with our sanding bit, and we've got our dust mask on because you never want a Dremel without your dust mask on. And we're just gonna round off, slightly round off some of the edges. Now we've got our edges slightly rounded off, pretty nice. And we have some bandsaw marks on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with our 220 sanding stick and we're gonna come up along this edge right here. Let's flip this around like this. Ooh, nice. All right, we're getting rid of all those bandsaw marks. Looking smooth. Now we're going to come in with our 320, which is even a little smoother than that. And this is really going to smooth it out. Oh yeah, feel that. Feeling smooth. We've talked about this before. Be careful with this thing, man, because it is hotter than Venus. It'll burn your skin right off. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, there we go. Look at that. Wow, look at how the foam is shiny now. Very nice. The foam tightens up, gets smoother, and a little bit glossy. Wow, look at that. All right, so this is a two inch dowel, and what we're going to need to do is we're going to be putting it right down here. We're going to have it at the bottom and it's gonna have a rounded piece right here because we're gonna have to wrap the grip around it. So what we're gonna do is we measured, and this is where we wanna cut it off. So we're gonna cut it right here on the bandsaw, and then we're gonna slice it down the middle. All right, there we go. 
knocked it off just like a salami. All right, there you go. All right, that's it. So now we're gonna knock this out on the bandsaw. Now you could totally come in with your box cutter, no problem. And you could start your cut and you could go right through and it wouldn't be a problem. But because we have a bandsaw, we're gonna hit it over there. All right, there we go, check that out. Now again, like we just said, you can totally come in here with your box cutter and saw through and then just drag right through the middle and do the same thing. Totally easy. All right, now this is why we did this. This is cool. This is going to slide right in, right there, line up with the front. Whoa, check it out. Now we've got the cool rounded bottom. Look at that. Nice. All right. <laughs> All right, we're going to attach this to here now, which is going to. Give it a few minutes before we make contact. All right, piece of cake. Now we're just gonna come in and we're going to holy cow. All right, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna smush this down, make sure we're getting fantastic contact all the way around, which we are. That is crazy. Okay, we transferred our template. We're gonna cut the two windows out, then we're gonna stick it down on here, and then we're gonna do another cut. You can use a straight edge if you like. You don't have to do it freehand. There you go, just like that. All right, now we'll do the other one. Then we'll stick it down. All right, there we go. Now, because this is a thin foam, we don't want to stretch it. So we're gonna be careful. We're just gonna tap it down. Well, as you can tell, we forgot the same detail we forget every time. And that's drawing a Sharpie line here before we glue so we don't put glue here. But it's not the end of the world. All right, now we transferred the outer part of our template on. So that... And we'll knock off the long straight edges with our box cutter. All right, there we go. We've got two of these. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we are gonna round these edges off with the Dremel. So we're gonna get our dust mask on and we're gonna round these edges off. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with our heat gun and we're gonna heat these edges up and it's gonna tighten the foam up. That is really cool. All right, got our line drawn down on there. All right, there we go. Give it some time to dry and then... Okay, there we go, it's flush right here. Now we're gonna come down, make sure that we get in where our Sharpie mark was. All right, check that out. Nice little detail. All right, let's pop the other one on. All right, now we've got this piece, and what we're doing is we're transferring those marks over to the foam. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with our sharpened brass tube, and we are going to cut out a circle on all the ends. So we're gonna come in with our tube. We're going to spin it. All right, there you go, look at that. That's a super sharp and beautiful hole. We're gonna go all the way around. Just get yourself a bunch of different diameters of brass tubes, and then you come in with your Dremel, you sharpen the end up, and look at that, kapow! That pops right through there. All right, now, here comes the fun part. And then we spin around to this side, and we do the same thing. 
There we go. Look at that. Now we're just going to cut the rest of these. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to come in with our Dremel and we're going to round this edge off on the inside. All right, there we go. Nice rounded off edge all the way around. Very cool. All right, now we're going to come in with our box cutter. We're going to seal it, tighten up our foam. Now this is going to wrap on there and look sweet, sweet awesome. All right. All right. We got to really make sure that we have excellent coverage so we're not going to worry about the spaces in between. All right, there we go. Give it a couple minutes before we make contact. We're going to go right down our Sharpie line. And we're going to secure it. Ready to go. Now we're going to lay down as we go. There we go. We got right to our Sharpie line, just like that. Full contact. Holy smokes, is that cool. What a great detail. Wow. And see that we took the time, we rounded the edges everywhere, and it just has a really nice finished look. Man, is that cool. Wow. All right. Okay, so what we did was we transfer our template over, we cut these two circles out nice and easy with our X-Acto, and we transferred our template over like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick this down, and then we're going to cut this circle out, and it's going to give us a nice little recess there. Really? with this excess piece of foam and now our sharpened brass tube and we're going to pop out two circles. There we go. We're going to come in with our X-Acto and we're going to make a cut right along the top just through the surface. Look at that. Cool little detail. Nice. Let's spin over to the bandsaw, knock these circles out. All right, check that out. Really cool. All right, we're going to get our dust mask on. All right, there we go. We got a rounded edge. Very cool. We're going to bring in a little bit of super glue. We're going to get our little bottoms all wet. We're going to come in and get it right in the center. Perfect. Now we're going to come in and we're going to cut these details and these are going to sit right in the middle of those openings just like that. All right, there we go. Now let's... All right, there we go. Okay, there's two sets. We're going to take these out of the way and we're gonna put our dust mask back on and we're gonna Dremel the, the edges of both of these pieces. All right, give it a couple minutes and then bam, contact. All right, now we're gonna come in, we're gonna line it up on the edge. Just take your time, make sure that you're stuck down exactly where you need to be. Like so. All right, there we go, see that? Perfect. One on that side, one on that side. 
All right, so now what we're gonna do is we took these thin little foam dowels and we measured our space right here and we cut two of them and we're gonna put those right in there on the inside just for that cool little detail right there in between. All right, there we go. We've got a dowel in there just to fill it in and a dowel on this side as well. All right, here we go. Now these are the little pieces we're gonna be putting on the side of our bolter. And what we need to do is we need to cut this inner window out and then the outside. So. All right, there we go. We've got both cut out. Now we're going to lay it. I'm going to get this down in place. All right, there we go. The bottom is stuck down in place, which is what we wanted. Up. On both sides. All right, there you go. Uh, wow, man, a lot of work and a lot more work to go, but so far so good. You saw us shape out the body. You saw us do this round detail on the bottom of the body so we could wrap the grip around it. Um, and we worked out the round details on the back. A lot of stuff went into shaping the body, angling the edges through the bandsaw. Like I said, bulking up this bottom section, getting the round bottom for the grip, um, but totally easy man you can totally nail this but uh, so far so good turning out fantastic man love this thing um so that's it that concludes making an eva foam bolter part one hope you liked it if you did give us a like share us with a friend and subscribe to this channel and together we're gonna go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve <laughs> thanks for coming see you next time